Hey everyone, my name is Crystal and the channel is called Vintage Booth Pro. This channel is all about helping you learn not only the basics of antique booths and vintage booths, but also learning what's selling and how you can improve your booth. So I have a group over on Facebook that is a free group well, and everyone is welcome to join. Um, it's called the Vintage Booth Pro Community where I post daily sales updates and people also share what they sold every day. And uh, we share beautiful booth displays and designs and ask questions and we have it uh, we make it a very safe space to feel comfortable asking questions because there are a lot of unknowns in this vintage booth industry and so that's what uh, my goal is for the youtube channel our community and my website over on vintagebooth.pro.com just to be a great resource to help us all learn and grow together but today is one of my favorite videos to make every month and that's because it's not about me <laughs> every month i ask um the members of my facebook community what sold the previous month over $50. In last month's video, I also asked them to share what smalls are selling. And so what are smalls? They're just um, small things that you source on a regular basis that are under a, a certain amount. So like I say my smalls are under $20. Um, many say this is under $50. It's really completely up to you. They're just small things that are basically impulse purchases that help people um, make their monthly rent and increase their sales every month. And so anyways, let's get into what sold over $50. And so I asked my group members to share. And if you are interested in um, joining, please jump over and look out for messages from me where I'm asking you to share some pictures and information. So I'll go through each one that was shared and I will share any information they gave me, including booth location, what they purchased it for and what they sold it for and dimensions, things like that. And if you like videos like this, I have a whole playlist of things that have sold throughout um, vintage booths, antique malls, throughout the country, throughout the world even. Um, so hang tight till the end and I will share a playlist where you can just keep watching. So first up, we have this beautiful Italian bar cart. It was purchased at an online auction for $105 and sold for $150. Booth is the Vintage Kitchen Witch at 272 Antiques and Collectibles in Stevens, PA. That is a beautiful piece. Okay, our same vendor sold this Pyrex Citrus Daisy Fridgy set. Pieced together here and there, probably cost about $70 to complete the set. Sold for $140. And the booth is the Vintage Kitchen Witch at 272 Antiques and Collectibles in Stevens, Pennsylvania. Our next vendor sold this amazing Italian chariot sculpture for $79.99 at the Smith & Company Vintage Market in Marietta, Ohio. They also had this beautiful pair of Fenton Cranberry opalescent hobnail candle holders and they sold for $79 at um, Smith & Company Vintage Market in Marietta, Ohio and they got them for free from their aunt's estate. And last one for this vendor, this incredible whole pottery gazelle vase with a rare gold applied for $79.99. And they are at Smith & Company Vintage Market in Marietta, Ohio. Our next vendor said she sold this vintage desk for $120. I purchased it at a little local thrift store for $15. This was my first month after being on a waiting list forever in a new mall called Nam's Antiques and Collectibles in Hobbs, New Mexico. My booth's name is Linda Luz. The same customer also purchased this clawfoot piano stool I had with the desk. Purchased for $10 at a garage sale and sold for $70. Another one from the same vendor, this stunning gold ornate mirror sold for $58. Purchased at an estate sale for $10, can you even imagine? Um, Linda Luz in Hobbs, New Mexico at Nam's Antiques and Collectibles. This next one is a little hard to see in this picture, but an antique milking stool I purchased at an auction for $10 and sold for $50. And the last one from this vendor is, um, so this vintage, Samsonite, lug Samsonite luggage for $67. Purchased on the last day of an estate sale for $15. And this is at Linda Luz at Key Pieces in Hobbs, New Mexico. I sold the large pink and gold Murano lamp for $225. I got it as part of an estate clear out that I paid $50 total. It was several car loads full. And an art glass rooster slash bird bought at a thrift store years ago for about $5 sold for $65. And just sharing a couple more pictures of the pink and gold Murano lamp and the art glass. 
um, rooster. And this is at RMB Arts and Antiques, vendor number 78 in Spring Hill, Florida. Next vendor, I think this is a mirror, uh, was an auction item paid $27 and sold for $75. Pretty big mirror, so the image just keeps stretching and stretching. Okay, our next vendor says they found this antique dresser with a mirror bought off Facebook Marketplace for $75 and sold for $250. The burlap and lace runners in the drawers are $12 each and great small items. Vendor name is Bassett Hunt and found located at the Rusty Trunk located in Bonners Ferry, Idaho. Next up, we have this 50-piece set of Fostoria Mayfair dishes sold on Facebook Marketplace for $100, and they got them for free from their sister-in-law's estate. Our next vendor, this table vase was free from someone's yard. Top is, an, is the end of an industrial spool, also free. Husband stained the top and attached it, sold for $65. Red Star, his and hers flea market in Evansville, Indiana. I am loving the creativity of some of these cells. Okay, our next vendor, that old work table with all the drawers, not the cabinet hunch sitting on top. It was the best four letter word, free. I totally agree with that. We answered an ad in our local paper giving it away. We sold it for $425 at our booth in Brevard, North Carolina, Country Creations. Next from the same vendor is this primitive chippy jelly cabinet built out of old explosive crates. We found it in South Carolina. I had to pay up at $100 because I intended on keeping it for myself, but then changed my mind when I found something better for my laundry room. Sold for $148.50, so didn't make as much as I would have liked. Um, next up, same vendor, the, this antique table found at a thrift store for $50 and sold for $203.50. And that coffee table was free and sold it for $58. Next up, this green mirror jewelry cabinet bought at Goodwill for, Goodwill for $16 and sold it for $56. And our same vendor, that antique picture found at a thrift store for $15, sold for $89. And last one from this vendor, this Amish rocking chair, found it at a thrift store for $40 and sold it for $132. So our next vendor sold this beautiful quilt. It actually needed repair, but it still sold for $70. Okay, our next vendor says, I sold this oil painting for $125. I had purchased from another antique store with the intention of swapping out the canvas, but ended up putting it in my booth with the fruit painting and sold it within a few days. I think I paid around $55 and I am in for Scythe, Georgia. She also sold this chest of drawers for $175. I purchased from an estate sale for $30. I did have to do some veneer repair, paint, and line the drawers with removable wallpaper. Um, I think it turned out beautiful, just as a side note, and great sale. The, gr the brass candlesticks in front of the chest sold for $49.99. I paid $5 for those at a yard sale. Our next vendor says this entry slash sofa table bought it in a estate sale for $45 peeled off the messed up veneer on the top, filled holes and sanded the top, painted with fusion mineral paint in the color Chessler with rose gold metallic dry brush over the details, protected with dark wax, and it sold for $150 at Heritage Mill Antique and Heritage Mill and Designer Mall in Gastonia, North Carolina. I don't have a great picture of it, but this mid-century swag lamp sold for $100. We bought it at a flea market for 10. Okay, our next vendor says I purchased this at Goodwill for $3.09 and sold it the day after I took it to my booth for $63. And this is at City Antiques and Interiors in Roswell, Georgia. Next up, I sold this pretty bamboo bookshelf for $100. It was a $20 estate sale find. I sell mostly smalls vintage hardware, so this kind of sale for me is thrilling. My booth is bits and pieces at Coleman's Mall Antiques and Things in, on consignment in South New Jersey. She also sold this bundle of eight white spindles for $65. Because I sell vintage hardware, bundling thing helps me hit a $50 plus sale. That is a great point. This is at Bits and Pieces at Coleman's Mall Antiques and Things on consignment in South New Jersey. 
Our next vendor says this mid-century abstract art, probably factory art, paid $4 at Goodwill, sold for $85. I'm foundation stock vintage at Two Chicks Vintage in Ellisville, Missouri. And here's a picture of it in Booth while I was doing a complete reset, but apparently I've deleted anything from when it was <laughs> look normal. Use Facebook Marketplace to help sell. Our next vendor says, I saw this enamel tabletop at the end of the month. Both sides slide out, sorry no dimensions it was white and was missing the drawer hubs made a faux drawer and painted it green picked this up at a hundred mile yard sale in virginia for 25 dollars i'm in north carolina my biz is g betty's favorite things priced it at 225 but sold for 200. she also has this mid-century wall clock picked it up at a local thrift store for four dollars and sold for 75 dollars the same day i put it out i can believe it oh my goodness that's beautiful so for our next vendor, they sold this vintage H. Hargrove Serograph Oil Pinion Canvas for $54. She says, I paid $8.50 at Goodwill. I'm at Seasons Best B127 in Salisbury, Maryland. So our next vendor purchased this framed Jacle print of The Sound of Music by Joanne Pemberton Longman from Goodwill for $10.69 and sold for, get this, $245. And this is Vintage Meets Mod at booth 275 at Lakeland Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. And the same vendor purchased this original print signed and numbered of a Louisiana mud painting. Yes, mud. Oh, that's interesting. By Harry, I'm sorry, Henry Newbig for $5.35 from a local thrift store and sold while on sale for $54.40. And finally, they purchased this set of four Waterford Crystal Marca Marquis goblets in a box for $12.79 from a local thrift store and sold for $52. Next up, this metal military Jeep water cooler. Bought for 10, sold for $60 at my booth named the Old Paths at Camp Flea Antique Mall plus Vintage Market in Ozark, Missouri. And an old trolling motor that my husband has had for years, sold for $50. And this is at my booth, the Old Paths at Crocodile Dreams Flea Market in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Next vendor has two stunning items. It's Tiffany style lamp sold for $75 and the blow mold bunny sold for $60. Next up, the one-eyed dog antiques and collectibles sold this TV lamp for $75. It's been in our house for so many years. I don't remember what we paid for it or where we got it. It was in our booth at Vintage Marketplace at Fort Collins, Colorado. And next vendor, Outlaw Antiques and Creations, bought this for $24 at a dusty old store, which by the way are the best kind, north of Conway around August 2023, and sold for $94.95. 18 inch tall amber in a vase, no maker's mark, located in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Okay, this is a great one. I had would have no idea. Bought this bottle drying rack at an estate sale for $45 and sold it for $325. Booth name, My Vintage Heart, located in Rosenberry's Old Town Trading Company in Clovis, California. Our next vendor says she rehabbed and sold this pretty thing for $299. Thrifted it for $14.99. New hardware, $8.99 and paint was maybe $9. We are Al and Hound located in the Lucky Rabbit in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. The same vendor paid $23 at a local auction for this frame vintage still life art piece. Sold for $124.99 at Al and Hound at the Lucky Rabbit in Hattiesburg. And the same vendors paid $23 at a local auction for this Ralph Brownell McGrew's Morning Melody RP sold for $124.99 at Allen Hound, located in the Lucky Rabbit in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Sorry, I don't have close up photos. I'm still working on that part of things. Okay, our next vendor sold this beautiful floor lamp for $70, bought it at Goodwill for $10, located at a brand new store in Oregon called Picasso's Art and Antiques. That is awesome. Next vendor found this found these vintage painted concrete Dutch boy and girl kissing statues for $25 for the pair at a thrift store. Sold for $99.99 after two weeks. Super heavy, about 40 pounds each. This is at my booth at Westchester Antique Store just north of Cincinnati. Concrete garden statues always sell quickly for me when I can find them. 
Our next vendor says they bought this table for $120 on Facebook Marketplace, drove it straight to the booth, and sold it the same day for $345. I absolutely love that. Um, just an easy flip for the eagle eye. So um, great sell there. And this is at studio.j.antiques in Richmond, Virginia. Our next vendor sold this refurbished buffet, bought in an auction for $40. A quick clean and fresh coat of paint, I peeled off the contact paper and sold it for $125 at Antique Paradise in Norman, Oklahoma. Next vendor says, I've had three furniture pieces sell recently that have been in my booth a while. Buffet with Mirror paid $100 on Facebook Marketplace and sold for $175. I was going to paint, but I, I decided I needed to move a couple items quick. This next piece paid $100 and sold for $200, has been in the booth a while. And the third piece is this library table, paid $0, the best price, and sold for $125. Awesome three sales there. Our next vendor says this empty wooden barrel that I used as a display piece for a spring vignette sold for $60. And this is City Girl on the Farm at the Junk Teak Shop in Benson, Minnesota. Bought it on auction sale um, a couple years ago for $5. I just love hearing that. Okay, so next vendor sold this drawer cabinet for $375, paid around $250 a couple years ago, and have used it to display my postcards. I thought I priced it high enough to discourage a buyer. <laughs> I love that. I am now display displaying my postcards on a tiered shelf in boxes, and to my surprise, they are now selling better than from the cabinet. A win-win. This is Junk for Joy in Marketplace 3301 in Billings, Montana. Okay, next vendor says we had this one item sale that was priced $55. However, the mall can discount items 10% if priced over $40 and not marked firm. So technically, it came in under $50, but we thought we would share because we only paid $2.45 for it at an estate sale. It is a gorgeous gold Italian display cabinet. The piece was located in our booth inside Antiques at Gresham Lake, and this is the weathered fence post. And this is our very last piece over 50. And this one is a vendor that I've already mentioned, but just remembered that she also sold this. My husband was purging some of his tools and I put this boss stitch framing nailer in my booth. It sold in less than a week for $150. And this is Linda Luz at Nam's Antiques and Collectibles in Hobbs, New Mexico. And I am telling you, these tools and one of our members in our group also has a tool booth and they do crazy well. Okay, so that's it. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be out on the lookout for some of these items? Do you ha currently have some of these items in your booth right now? Um, this this series has helped me so much while I'm sourcing. So I hope it helps you as well. And if you want to keep watching videos like this, I will link a playlist so you can keep watching. And be sure to join our Facebook community, and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Your tail is in my face. Yeah.